Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. In front of me I have the uh, Google Stadia Premier Edition which I bought almost a year ago. My intention was to um, review this um, game streaming service uh, but since Google cancelled the Stadia game streaming service and the refunded customers of the hardware as well as the software the controller um, has almost become useless now. Um, the controller normally connected via um, Wi-Fi but since it has the Bluetooth capability at the box this was normally disabled, however, Google recently released a uh, firmware un unlock for the controller so you can use it, um, the Bluetooth features of it. The firmware is only available until the 31st of December this year, so um, you've only got a limited amount of time before um, they close the service off. In this video, uh, I'll show how to unlock the controller so we can um, work on the Bluetooth connection and we'll try it out on the Steam Deck. Okay, let's open it up. Yeah, the controller feels okay. Got a nice weight to it. Smaller than I expected. Okay, before I continue with the um, Bluetooth uh, modification, um, I'm going to charge it and um, get back to you later. Okay, let's get started. Um, make sure you've charged your controller, I've already done that. Um, also, you need to um, download the Chromecast browser on your PC, so um, make sure you have that as well. And um, one thing you must note is that once you do this upgrade, you will lose the ability for the uh, controller to connect via Wi-Fi. Okay, visit this website here, stadia.google.com, and it'll come to this website. Then, where it says play wirelessly with Bluetooth, click on learn more. Play wirelessly, with, play wirelessly with Bluetooth. Switch to Bluetooth mode. Click that. It says switch to Bluetooth mode. Unsupported Bluetooth disk disables steady Wi-Fi wireless play. Okay. Switching is permanent, so remember that, guys. And then accept the Google's terms of uh, service, and then click start. Next it's telling you to plug in your stick controller into the computer. Here's the controller. I'm using a USB-C to um, micro USB at a connector adapter thing here. So, see it rumble. And it's connected on my computer. So I've plugged it in and I'm going to click continue. It says allow Chrome to verify your controller. Click allow Chrome to verify. Say the controller is paired. Okay, let's connect it. Now the Chrome has verified the controller, go on to the next step. Unplug the controller to power it off. So let's do that. Now hold down the three dots here. Well, plug it in. So the light should remain off, which it has done. Next you press this button and this button here and A and Y at the same time. So let's do that. These ones here.
allow Chrome to download. So this is google.com wants to connect to this device here, so we'll connect to it. Download is complete, you're almost done. Next we install it, allow Chrome to install Bluetooth mode. Okay, it appears to have worked. Click on them um, how to pair with Bluetooth button here to fill in some instructions. So it tells you how to pair it with Bluetooth. What you need to do is hold the Y button and the Stadia button here, the orange one, for two seconds. And then the, the light will flash orange. Next, it tells you what the status lights mean. So flashing orange means it's in pairing mode. If you get a flashing white, that means it's connected to the last pair device. And finally, a side white, it means it's connected already. Okay. Next, I'm going to um, test it out on the Steam Deck. Right, here I am on the um, Steam Deck and it's on the Bluetooth page here. I'm going to try and connect with the uh, Stadia controller. Um, and the instructions said, basically press these two. So first I'll turn it on here. And then I'll press the Stadia button and the Y button. As you can see, it's flashing orange. And there it is. So basically I'll select it here. And now it has paired and the light has gone off. Okay, then I can control it. Okay, let's get into a game and test it out. Right, here I am. Fine. Don't seem to be any input delay. Who knows what this game is called? Leave it in the comments below if you know what it's called. Fine. Right guys, uh, that concludes the uh, video. Um, as you can see, um, it worked fine. Um, Bluetooth functions, you didn't have too many problems with anything. And um, it, overall, yeah, thanks to Google for um, unlocking the Bluetooth functionality. I think everybody who got one of these controllers have got basically a free controller now. So yeah, can't complain if it's free. Anyway, um, 
thanks for watching the video and um, please like and subscribe it really helps me out um, and stay tuned I've got something interesting coming up which you'll like cheers